Hi, Collective. Siberia from Cats and Cards. Let's get out some collective messages and look at, for those of you manifesting, for those of you looking for wish fulfillment. So let's see what you're manifesting. See, there is hardship here. There is that broken vase energy. I get that admiring energy. Like, you don't want to fix it. There's too many setbacks. There's um, Virgo and Pisces. And there's also Taurus energy. Unexpected energies. Somebody could have moved to a different state. Not saying things are fast-tracked to unfold for what you're manifesting. Your birthday could be on the 5th through the 8th. You could be 58. You don't have to be. You could be a Scorpio or a Taurus. Look, something happened because you were supposed to find the deeper meaning, because you were supposed to level up emotionally, spiritually. Look at that. This flipped over as well. Crony energy, very sacred energy. And this is um, showing up as a lot of feminine energy. Over the last nine to 12 months, you could have experienced these setbacks, especially if you were a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Pisces. But look, there's something so peculiar coming in. High vibe energy. You could have a happy child over the next two days. Um, this letting go is what's going to bring in. The more stress-free and relaxed you are, the more your body feels like it's in a state of rest or meditation. So you don't actually have to sit down and meditate. Look, you have the tools and the capability. Somebody is, um, somebody actually hits the eighth chakra about twice a week. So our first through seventh chakra is the actual physical chakras. And our eighth chakra and above are our soul chakras. Somebody could work with power tools. Somebody could work with party planning or materials like um, cloth here. Somebody could work with sewage systems. Look at this. There's a portal coming over the next three days. Over the next three days, these things are unfolding. Give me for those manifesting love. You need to go a new direction. Like um, it's saying a new community, so maybe to a new town, three hours or less away, possibly. The circular reason is you going back and forth on really re whether you want to manifest love. I do feel like you are making the decision. You do want to manifest it, but you manifest it in a convicted energy. Sagittarius energy is here to heal. Pisces energy is here to be divine and deep. So those are the energies you're exuding manifesting love. Look, there's a wish granted for love here. Um, this person could be a Leo, a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Virgo, an Aries, a Sagittarius. But it's like somebody is making this decision, decision Excuse me, over the next six hours to come to you. There's something coming right towards you as far as like it's already, they already come with possibly children, a pet here. You could be, uh, um, why, is, why do I hear voyaging? Um, you could have been born in the year 1986. You could be 34. You could be 44. You could be 48. You could be 46. You could be 36 through 38 years old. You could be 63. You could be 63, 64. You don't have to be those ages, but you are definitely manifesting love. You need to have more confidence and um, dependability. You need to have more confidence and commitment and trust because those cards did come in the reverse. Give me for those manifesting a home or a job, please, Spirit. I'm being advised to move to another deck. Give me those um, manifesting a home or a job, Spirit. Those looking for something. It seems as though things are moving slow. There's a lot of green in your spread. That's heart chakra. So the family room is here. It's like you're making a decision to come together with someone. You could possibly move in with someone. The 21st through the 30th of December is significant. We have the main male energy here for January, January 1st. So the 30th through the first is significant for you guys for making the decision. A main male um, wants you to, um, this is paying something off or this is, um, this is a legal situation. So for those manifesting a home, give me the messages here. There's a new beginning here. The 18th through the 21st of December is what I'm getting. So you're putting more hours in at work. Somebody could work from home. Give me for those manifesting for a home. Great fortune is here. The mature man is mirroring this great fortune card. So this could be, for some of you, a dad in heaven. This could um, deal with a stable 
this is an unofficial relationship. You could be moving in with an older man. For others of you, the great fortune is your father in heaven. There's a mature woman. These cards are going crazy. You're coming into your truest form, meaning you're activating new gifts. You're leveling up. I feel like you're not really wanting to tell everyone what's going on in your life. You may even like turn down gifts from others or turn away from your gifts. Give me this masculine. All right, theft energy for the masculine. It's like somebody feels they don't get enough time with you over the next 24 hours. They could be dealing with distractions or energetic ties with childhood. Something is working out in a love situation here for you collective over the next three to 15 days. I do see the privileged lady card as, um, why am I getting um, running errands or spending money? So watch out for your um, money spending at this time. What does the collective need to know about this mature man? What does the collective need to know about this mature man? Somebody wants to give you something. Mature man energy is father in heaven. Um, you could have had a father pass away or this is new gifts. So your gifts are coming from a masculine passed on loved one. You're being protected or it's like, give me more here. Main male in reverse. There could be masculines coming towards you that don't have no fucking money if you're feminine for some of you. Or this is a this is an attachment. Like a masculine wants to give you something for something. They're playing in your energy though. This gift card is you having that discernment and be able to dodge that. What is the love energy coming in for the collective? See, I feel like you're shutting the world out and you're letting this person come in after you. Less confusion. You could have an M, a B, an N in your name. Yeah, this is activating you. This is some type of promise showing up. Over the next few days, somebody is going to be showing up for you. If you're a feminine, give me masculine. Masculine, this betrayal card is coming out sideways. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, there's queen rising in reverse, wolf in sheep's clothing. So you could be dealing with a feminine masculine, not all of you, trying to figure out like if she's the right one. Or somebody could have broke your heart and it's just like you don't have any answers. You probably will be hearing from this person Friday. It's like you still can't get over something masculine. Like this person is being praised. Okay, like, hold on. What does masculine need to know about the person on their mind? They're crying over you. Nothing set in stone in their life. Things that they're, they have lack staying power. This person could be a Pisces, a Virgo, a, a Gemini. Um, this person could be a Sagittarius. They're trying to heal too, though. They could have mental illness. What does the masculine need to know about this person? Low IQ. See, they go between being so high vibe. It's called rapid cycling. And being a low vibe individual. It could be enjoying the comforts of life right now. They want, you may have blocked them. Give me more on this person. They're going through bad karma. They got some type of, they have some type of abundance, but they're karmic. It's, it's like the, things are favorable right now, but there's some type of blockage here. Um, give me more. What, what is all this energy? The cards are telling everybody's business. Taurus is here. Yeah, scarcity tactics. See, their soul keeps returning to learn lessons on clarity, learning lessons on challenging, um, uh, stagnant energies, and they refuse to heal from that. It's this roundabout and this shooting star. What is the person on masculine's mind next actions? The number three, the number eight. What is this, what is, what is this person's next actions towards the masculine? Yeah, because like, seriously, you're over it. It's like they are so oblivious to everything. I get a childish energy, an identity crisis here. They're trying to ascend. They, they do want to come towards you, but it ends up in frustration, it seems. What does um, masculine need to know about their money at this time? It's like these short passing moments where you guys can get along. Okay. Um, under spiritual attack. See, there's women here attached to your money. And if everybody always wants help, you need some type of self-care, though. Um, self-care is going to bring you your blessings. You need to focus on you. 
because it's like you're in this poverty mindset masculine and it affects your money um, maybe you're looking for a job right now and you feel like everybody is watching what's going on in your life when is a job coming in for masculine or level up Leo energy is here you have to be in independent um, get out of everybody's testy energy right now I feel like you just don't feel like you you nothing is out here for you okay what does masculine need to know for work what kind of work is coming towards masculine please it's time to see your life and its limitless potential this crystal ball purple purple and pink are showing up a lot like discernment forgiveness synchronicities third eye tinted rose glasses so maybe there's some women out here that fucked up somebody's life or there's codependent energies you're more powerful than you think so what is coming in for work? There's also that blue showing up again. See, I feel like this is a great time to make new connections. Things are getting ready to unfold and progress for you. As soon as you open that heart chakra and allow yourself to be a creative force and allow yourself that grace that you give to others, see what happens. Let's get out the fortunes deck and see what's coming in. Dealings or relationship with a woman is coming in. Fine. Seek out information that will help you. See, you're doing... You're dealing with depression or shoe fly energy, marriage. It could be something that's bugging you within those confines. Temptation will test you. See, these are testy energies. A marriage will take place. So this is manifesting at this time. Seek out information that will help you. I feel like you're also hearing some type of juicy um, information that will um, move you to the next level. Parting of the ways, either romance our business is here. Again, that dealings or relationship, spear, sorrow, or heartache over what you no longer have. That spear also gives me Neptune energy, dreaming energy, or a dream, broken dreams, solid foundation. The tower card gives me Scorpio energy and Saturday. So Saturday and Sunday could be significant for this self-care energy. Thanks, collective. Please like, subscribe.